We can look at one of Bo's games. Bo, what's your in-game name? Is it the same? Is it that way? How did I say Did I add an E? I added an E. Nope, oh, I got it completely right. Oh, Zobes. Zobi. Iron one. Okay, let's have a look, shall we? Level three, two gay, two type, two minute game. What are you doing? Uh, all right. What do you want me to look at? What's your favorite champion, Nami? Soraka. You like to name me as Soraka, right? Very uwu. Thirty minute game. I think this would be quite a good quality game to look at, actually. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, she's not available, but she, you can purchase her. Um, well, I could purchase her, but I'm not allowed to play Renato at the moment because I'm too, too good at the game. Okay, so we're having a look at Bo Zephyr's game. She got stuck in iron and I don't believe it's possible. So I had to see it with my own eyes. We can hide the map, on, on map cover. Um, let's have a look then, shall we? So this is an Iron 1 game on EU West. So basically about Diamond 4 and NA. And Challenger or an EU and E. Um, so let's have a look, shall we? Let's have a look. You're using the Cafe QT skin, I like. And what have you got to start off with? You've got a Spell Thief and two Health Potions. Good job. Classic Iron mistake is not buying any Health Potions. Not even joking. Oh, lucky you guys didn't get the wood. Unlucky. There's a jungle invade going on top side. You guys know that's warded. Yeah, good job actually, by the way, to telling your team that that's warded, so they shouldn't be going in there. That this is very bad. I mean, I think your Lilio just wants to counter invade, doesn't she? Because she's getting invaded on her side. I think I guess you guys could win this because you know there's three top. You outnumber them. I think you could have maybe have come around a bit more. What, what did you take level one? You did take Q level one. I think I think the thing I'm going to say about this is that like, if a bad call is being made, like, and already a couple of your teammates are already going in for it, you should just generally just follow up on it. So even if you don't like it, you should just like be more willing to be a pleb. Okay. Buff spawning soon. We don't want to mess around here too much. Yeah. And I know that her teammates and the enemy team are going to do really bad stuff. It's iron, right? Everyone's going to be making terrible mistakes, but I'm just going to focus on the Soraka, okay? Good Q. I like it. But you don't want to get too fixed. The problem here right now is is that um, their jungler, the Zin, is now back to contest this blue buff. And you got a bit of a problem here. Because Vex is already low on HP and she needs to get to mid. And if you guys don't get to bot lane soon, you're going to be missing out on XP. So it's like, do you guys commit and help for this blue buff? Or do you go down to lane and get the XP and then Lily just has to do like her red buff by herself and be behind? Let's see what happens. So Zin goes over and actually ints, and then he flashes away. Um, don't run towards the Zin at this point. He should be out. Nice Q, though. Ignite. You're running Ignite. Alright. That's good. You guys are going to be behind bot, though. Because their bot lane has already taken a full wave. You've lost one melee minion of XP. And you're going to have Ignite down for the fight on the bot lane. So you're already going to be behind in the lane. They're going to be level 2 before you. So you just got to respect that. So just, you know, don't do anything too nuts. Like this, for example. That was quite a very good extension. You need to go back now. You need to respect the fact that they're level 2 and you're level 1. I know you want to land those Qs, but you do need to be respectful. Lily is coming down for the gank play. Jin is looking at his watch. Uh, a couple of summoners used here. Lily is probably going to die. Just back away from this. That was a, not a great gank. And you look kind of AFK. Uh, Lucian does get a kill. Nice. 
I mean, he had summon heal, he could have used it. This is some of the most interesting mechanics I think I've seen in a long time. The Jin gets to get away here because he's got boots, right? Yeah, okay, whatever. That was mental. Right, let's have a look and see what you could have done better in him. So, Lydia dies. It's kind of an awkward situation. You kind of just stand still for a really long time there. I couldn't tell if you were getting, like, creep blocked or what? Not really sure. At this point, when Lydia was getting newt down, you should have been running backwards. I actually kind of like the Lucian's aggression here. He's got the right idea, but he's just pulling it off really badly. Like, he decides to go back in quite late here. Anyway, I told you I wasn't going to fixate on that one. Okay, so you come back into lane. That is fine. Try and make sure the center doesn't freeze the lane. At this point, you can see the Corky coming down. Oh, no, you're not watching your minimap. You're focusing too much on the center. Lucian at least gets a kill. He might be able to get away from center here. He should live. Don't go back in, dude. All right. Um, oh yeah, so here you just weren't watching the minimap. You're kind of overextending a lot here to try and stop her from freezing the lane. But here, the waves have already stopped. So these minions have already connected and then they're not going to push into the turret anymore. So you just need to be a little bit respectful of that. So like before you do any like big aggression play, like this is quite far and deep into the lane, you need to look on your minimap. Also Vex did a missing ping, so you had missing ping, you also see the Corky because of the ward. Like ideally you're not like, yeah, a little bit too deep. <clears throat> you're going to be really far behind in XP. I do like the fact that you did buy the control ward for the try brush by the way. Just relax a little bit. I think in this position here, because you're so far behind in XP, you're kind of looking like you need to do, honestly, like no more than two points in Q and just get that W up now. Because you're kind of like super fi far behind in XP in lane. So the laning phase is going to be ending like sooner, <laughs> right? So just get the two points in Q max and then just max the W. You can maybe even do like one point in Q, but... Like if you're that this if you're really really far behind on Soraka or on or on Sona or whatever, then you want to like max the the main healing tool quicker. If that makes sense. All right, so you still just want to land cues. I mean, your cue your skill shot on cues being pretty good. Sorry, I mean, you're doing all right. You're doing all right. Like, when you land a Q, I want to see W the Lucian. Hold on. You land a Q. You can W Lucian here with the buff. But you don't. You, you healed him too late. Your buff wore off. You can still chase this. This is good. You get a little bit scared. Um, one thing I'm going to ask you is in your games when you're playing Soraka, just don't take Ignite, just take Exhaust. If if your AD carry is running Exhaust, take Heal. I don't think in any situation in the bot lane with a Soraka you should have Ignite personally, but that's just my preference on summoners. Good, Jin's overextending 1v2, so you guys exploit that. You guys are overall doing okay. There's a couple of like, you know goofball mistakes, but I think overall you're not playing like an iron. Yeah, you just, okay. So at this point here, you guys just, you guys just got kills, right? So you're looking to reset. Um, Lucian's chosen to push in this next wave in because it's an awkward wave position. This can be a bit greedy at times, but if he's going to do this, you need to help him. So just focus on pushing in the wave to get the reset in like you did here. Just keep focusing on that. Don't focus too much about the, the center. Just focus on like also hitting this kind of minion rather than going in for more damage here, for example. Just get out as quickly as possible. Like every second can make a huge difference in getting back into lane. 
but like the fact that you've identified that you need to push in the lane and stuff, I think you're playing honestly okay. If I was to look at this game, I wouldn't think. Oh, if, okay. If I was just to look at this game solely from your position, apart from the random standing still stuff and like not seeing the corky, I'd say this is like at least silver. So far, let's see what you do in the mid game that you're on. Alright, so yeah, I like this, what you're doing here. They're on Dragon, but you've kind of identified that the Jin's overextending in this lane by himself and your AD carries coming back into lane, and you know there's nothing you can do here anyway. Yeah, I like, I like you coming into the lane here and ganking the Jin. This is good. This is proactive. This is really good. Uh huh. Ah, good job. You even did the team Mermo. Uh, you heal the Vex, which is good. You got silence. Yeah, there's nothing else you could have really have done there. You have to back off there because the Vex has no resources. But you don't want to like, you don't want to comp. Comp. What the hell is this Vex doing, man? I think she's trying to click on the bloody berries, but she missed. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, so here, you're not really in any threat of dying, right? Vex is really low on resources, um, and so is the Corky, so it's kind of really a 1v1, right? But if you let that Senna get to your Vex, she's going to die. So you kind of need to posture up a little bit to say like, oi, go away, basically, if that makes sense. Because here you kind of like, I mean, I don't know what the Vex is doing here anyway, but like you kind of want to be like, go away. Do you know what I mean? You do want to truck a Q out here if you've got a Q, Q's ready, good. Like the Vex can't fight and you're not going to kill the Senna 1v1. Um, I mean, Lucian could probably come over. He's got ulti, right? Yeah, uh, has he got ult? Did he not put a point in his ulti? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Lucian's level 6, he hasn't put a point in ulti yet. Hold on, he's still thinking about it. <laughs> what the- <laughs> Okay, these type of players exist. Okay. What is he doing? He's going on a journey. I, I did say I wasn't going to fixate on other people. That was way too distracting though. So, um, yeah. So really you don't want to fight because the, the Vex has no resources. Pretend the Lucian isn't here. And uh, you don't want to be up here by yourself um, fighting a Senna 1v1 because you won't really win. Especially when you're leveled down anyway. Okay, so now your team decides to chase on it. I think just leave it at this point. Like this is getting too damn, this is getting too deep. Okay, Lucian's put the point in his ulti now. Cause now you're entering into really deep territory. It could have been risky. That's all I'm gonna say. Like ideally you don't do a big chase like that anyway. It ends up being okay, but it's not like it's like positive reinforcement on something that's not great. Okay. Um Silence doesn't affect minions at all, by the way. Okay, well you have flash. Good. Lucian has ulti. That's okay, just back off. That's fine. You need to play safer with when your flash is on cooldown. Like, bit running up like this is... As the game goes on longer, enchanters trade worse. So at the very start of the game, enchanters do really well with the trades. But when you hit into like alt territory, that's when you need to kind of like take it down a notch. And then when you get into like mid game properly, that's when you want to like not do like trades, like putting cues on enemy players, like going really far forward to do that. Hey, well, thank you for the team up three stuff. I just want to see if you Q land and then W. One sec. Okay, so Senna's like, okay, Senna's in Narnia. 
She found the wardrobe and she's entered into the snowy kingdom of Int. Um, you, we can punish this pretty hard, right? Lucian still has ulti. So you heal up the Lucian, your Q was in cooldown. Yeah, Senna dies, good. Alright. Oh, that's kind of unlucky. Oh, you did make it out though? It's kind of huge. Yeah, and you want to just get out now. You don't want to stay. If you help this Lucian, it's in. I agree. Okay, so now you've got a couple of options in this situation. If your AD carry continues to stay in lane like this and keep pushing in, you have two options. I would say when you recall at this point, you want to look to whether it's if it's worth to go mid. Um, because like the enemy support, say if it's like a roaming engage support in particular, like a Leon or a Pike or something, they might be coming into mid to gank the mid laner. So every time you recall, you want to look like, can we do something mid? The answer is no, because your Vex is dead, so there's nothing to do here. But you could maybe, um, because your Lucian is probably going to recall, and you're not going to be matching up in lane at the same time. Like, he's going to be like 30 seconds behind in terms of getting back into the lane with you. So what you can do during that time is you can like go into your own jungle. Uh, you could maybe put like a defensive ward here. Or if you're feeling uh, spicy, you can investigate. The, we call this the pixel brush in the river. You can put like a ward here or a control ward here and just like get some like vision control over this. But there is a risk that you could men end up meeting the enemy jungler here. So a bit spicy here, but if you want to, if not feeling spicy, then just a, a normal ward in this brush here when your support item is complete. Well, yeah, you got the wards on your frost fang already. So just put, I would say go and put a ward here. And then by the time you come back into lane, Lucian should have like recalled and then he should be nearly back in lane. That is like what my, my mind process is going right now. Let's see what kind of happens. Okay, so you head down into bot lane because you feel like that the core key might be coming to tower dive. But you know, he's not going to tower dive anymore. So you could still go up like this pathway and look to put a defensive ward around here. Because right now, um, if I do blue vision, on the minimap, you can see like how here we've got like no vision at all. So you guys, like even though you have a, a defensive ward here, your mid laner and yourself are potentially vulnerable from being like attacked from behind. So if you get pushed in, enemy jungler can come path through here, like blast cone over and then gank you from behind the turret. And well, and it exposes like the mid and your jungle as well. So try and get, try and get a vision, like a control ward, uh, not control ward, just a normal stealth ward here would help a lot. Because, like, as, as I said now, like, remember what I, what I was just saying? Like, um, now you're not, like, you don't have anything to do right now while you're waiting for the lotion. You're going to, like, last it a few minions, but that's potentially it. That's a really good recall intro, but at the same time bad. Because it's, like, if the Senna was paying attention and she just W'd you, that really puts you in, like, a, a like you're by yourself here. Lucian's still all the way back here. So it's, like... Super greedy to do that, and if the center was paying attention, like you would have got W'd here, rooted, and and like essentially taken out here. So do be careful on those little greedy plays. Why is this Jin randomly standing in the lane? I guess he's talking. Good, you got an oracle so after you got the three wars and frost thing. Yeah, just remember like what I said, like when you get into alt stage it gets difficult. Um I hope you're not talking in chat. Talking in chat is a very bad disease. The only cure is to mute chat. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's go back. There's a couple of things here. You were probably talking in chat, which is a big no no. Because you're taking a lot of free damage here from the. Com oh, you remember I was AFK? If you ever need to go AFK, if you ever need, like, say, like, you really just need to, like, go for, like, 10 seconds. Always go back to the turret. Don't just stand AFK in the middle of the lane, okay? It's like literally like 
really, really, really bad to do that. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, one tip, which I actually don't talk about actually, is when you put a ward in a brush like this, where you're not sure who's on the other side or if anyone's in the brush, I mean, you kind of messed up with the placement there, unfortunately, but like when you place it, always click back to where you were. You don't want to keep, you don't want to put the ward down and then keep moving forward because you haven't got like the vision from that ward yet, if that makes sense. So if you're face checking a brush, always ward and then run backwards. Just even for like half a second, it can make all the difference because instead it shoved you half a second forward, which means that you were like plus one second further away than you should have been. If that makes sense, if that makes sense. So that uh, it could have maybe have helped you get out of that situation. What the hell am I watching, dude? That Lucian had an 800 gold bounty. All right. All right. Same again, by the way, because your AD carry is dead in lane. You want to look into like you know, making sure that you got vision around here. So every time you recall, look at like this area here and see if like what you want to do around this area or even in the mid lane. So this is like, this is what you're looking at first if your AD carry is not in lane. Also, this wave is horrible. This wave means that you, you will never get XP here. So it's much more important that you roam because if you come into lane here, you are essentially doing nothing for... 20 seconds. But at least you're being proactive. You kind of realize the mistake like, oh yeah, I can't be in lane here. So yeah, you, you are doing it now. But you could have like done it A, safer rather than face checking the entire river. And B, it would have been quicker if you just came through here but from base. Now you're in a really bad spot, by the way, because you would have seen Corky come through mid. And you have no escape, right? Because you have no bot lane priority because Lucian's not in the lane. So they can easily come through here and squish you in. Um, and you're not gonna be able to run through this gap here because Corky's gonna block you. So that's like, a, that's, this is why like you don't wanna like go too crazy on vision coming up from here when you've got no one mid, no one bot, and your jungler's like kind of near and could maybe react, but like not close enough to you. You're in Narnia basically right now. Okay, in this situation here, this is what I would do, okay? If you ever get someone jump you like this in this situation, it's always Q. Like, he's already used his dash, right? So it's Q to slow him and give yourself the rejuvenation buff, which then also gives you movement speed. And then you silence under him because there's a chance that he might get rooted under it, okay? And then you want to go to, like, the safest spot on the map. The safest spot on the map for you, that the easiest place to get to, would be actually through this gap and to your jungler. Because if you go south here, you don't know what's in the jungle. But also you don't have priority, so Senna can come up from this way and just completely like close you in. So you want to be in a position where you don't get like closed in. Corky flash. Oh my god, they're wasting a lot of flashes here. And then they are Santa closes in and pincers. Okay, now now you, you did what I suggested, right? So now you know like okay, bot lane, herald's been pushed, this this is gonna be done by the time I get here, right? There's gonna be nothing to do. Mid lane, there's a fight, it needs my attention. So you are Paying attention to what's going on to the map, which is good. You're not going to be able to catch that, Jin. Yeah, that's fine. You do well. Bought this brush because you're next to it. Good, 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 good. Alright, you guys are calling to do dragon. And you have one ward charge left. What I'd say is... Because yeah, it's. I don't, um, yeah, ignore the Lucian here, I think. You're not going to get to him in time. 
Lily is doing chasing. Okay. This is really awkward that your jungler isn't helping you on the on the dragon. At least she finally does it. Okay. What we got here? Lilia's going in for a YOLO dive. You just want to use heal on her. Good. And then you just want to make sure... When your stuff's on cooldown... When your stuff's on cooldown, don't worry too much about auto-attacking once we're in mid-game. Which is, you know, we're entering into mid-game. Auto-attacks are really, really powerful during laning phase. Because, uh, like, they just are. <laughs> Like the very few levels, like level one to like level four auto attacks, are like really good. But once you're entering into like this stage of the game, yes, getting the occasional auto attack if you can is good. But in a dangerous team fight situation like this, it's priority like to make sure that you're positioning. You've used all your abilities, and then it's positioning over anything else, okay? Because you took a little, quite a, an unnecessary big hit there from a journey on the ground. Yeah, you kind of got bailed there by the Lillian. That's a little bit unfortunate. I mean... On the whole, I think overall it ends up being okay. Oh, that hit. Yeah, I would have probably followed up for a hop on that play anyway. Okay, once again, Lucian is not going to be able to do anything in the lane here. And once the turrets start going down on bot lane in particular, it's generally AD carry and support mid. So you need to be like heading towards mid here. There's not much for you to do here. If you go to this Lucian, you're both super overextended. There, you guys are in Narnia again. This is Narnia right now. It's bloody cold. I hope you got a jacket. Because <laughs> look, what's happening mid during this time as well? Both of you need to recall. Lucian's still staying. You should, if I were you, I'd maybe like ping him to go back. Okay, pro tip. I was just checking if you're going to do it. So what I was looking for here is when you are down turrets in mid lane, you want to have wards in the lane, right? Uh, this is to help you see like which way the enemy is going to rotate after they push in your mid wave. So generally where about the center is a defensive mid lane ward where like the enemy's turret is still alive and yours are down. You generally want a ward around about here. So as soon as you pass this spot on the map, you need to put one down roughly where the center is. If you are winning, or being aggressive on the map and this tier one is down then it's like the where this caster minion is here this 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 first kind of minion is, uh, caster minion is to once again see rotations to see which way the enemy team are going it's like the, it's legit the most important ward in the game 100 percent and high elo supports that are aware of this they actually put like control wards down here just to secure it and mid laners do as well sometimes So yeah, like a lane ward, you've got a couple of options here because you're quite deep now. Uh, if there's a turret up here, I like putting a ward around about here. I don't know if you can see, like it's about here. Because then you can still see like around this little corner a little bit. Uh, but you can also see which way they're going from in the mid lane. And then it's not in range of the tower so they can't see it. Yeah, this is like, where the hell are you guys going? You're by yourself, which shouldn't be happening. You shouldn't be looking to 1v1 Asana. Yeah. I'm not really sure what happened then. I think you kind of like were thinking like the Vex, the Vex was going way too deep. But by the time you committed to this visit, if you're going to make a decision like this and like follow someone who's going deep, you have to commit. Because if you go back on yourself here, you're in very deep territory. And as a squishy support, you do not want to be by yourself at this point in the game. 
Um, also, you've got... Also, because you're in this situation anyway, now is actually a really t good time to get, like, a deep ward here in this brush. You just need to make... If you happened to hit key locations on the map that you wouldn't necessarily be able to do otherwise, you should put a ward there. Because, like, when, when is, like, the next time you're going to pass this brush, for example? It might not be for, like, another five minutes or something. But if you can get a ward there now, like you are now, just because you just happen to be there, then that could be really crucial into like, getting, like, deep information later on, if that makes sense. Also, it would help you, too, because you're technically, like, face-checking here right now. So when you're coming around this edge, if you put a ward over the wall, then you know if someone's waiting there for you. For you. But you don't want to be caught up by yourself. I don't know if you thought like you could take the center on 1v1 or something. But yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. I mean, it ends up being good for your team, but you, you don't want to be in a situation like that. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, you're in iron. You're expected to do some weird stuff, but I'm here to just point them out for you. Yeah, good. Like, you, you're getting proactive. It's... Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the fine ward, yeah. I mean, there's no Baron coming up, but it's like, it's decent vision, at least anyway. I mean, you know, Dragon's about to come up, so... But the team is having a fight here. I think healing him here is fine, and then I'd be rushing towards this side of the map, just because the Dragon's up. What's up with the Renata release? I don't know, I'm not right. <laughs> I have no idea. They're not... Yeah, she's bugged. Okay. Uh, one thing about set, if you're able to, I know it's easier said than done. But like, he has a channel. So that can be silenced, that wind up punch. If you can't interrupt it, then step to the sides, okay? Like sometimes, I think at this point now, you shouldn't be chucking out silences necessarily like randomly. You don't need it as poke damage or harassment. You should be looking for those abilities that you could, uh, you could do. Pretty sure you can interrupt it. But either way, try not to use it randomly. And if you. But the, the, that little punch there, there's like a line going down the middle. If you get hit by that, you take true damage. If you go to the sides, you take less damage. By throwing silence in lane early like as poke damage if there's nothing that you need to silence is fine I, mean, I might be wrong about um the ability of being able to be interrupted I'm, I'm doubting myself now as i'm saying it Okay, so you're coming out into mid, that's good. Mid lane's the most important lane of getting priority because it gives you control of like whether your team goes at top or bot lane. Once again, you know, the ward in the middle of the lane if possible. I mean, it should always be possible, but you know what I mean. Okay, you, okay, 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 okay. So here, you need to be paying attention when you're running away, okay? Because... What we have here is we have a Narnia situation, okay? So, running away here with the Vex initially here is fine. Okay? What happens here? Can you see can you see what's going on here? I have returned. Hey Brodak, thank you for the eleven months. Much appreciated. Can you see the situation we've got here? We have a slight spit in, in the allied team, two for two. 
But team is coming around the side, so he'll join the fight eventually in the next five seconds, okay? Set is alone. Yep, correct. Set's all by himself. Enemy team here just took a massive hit. They're getting quite low. So they, they, they backed off. These two backed off. This guy is running forward. At this point here, you have a small window to actually come around and link up with the three here. Also, don't forget when uh, your ally gets low on HP, you'll get movement speed towards them. And I'll set even it more further in Narnia because he's used his ulti and he's launched himself forward. So he's super alone right now. Good. Right here, you need to be paying attention. Oh, pro tip by the way, um, if you put down a control ward, you can actually see Senna and the people inside is camouflage. But there's also information here as well, like Zin's top. So he's not going to be taking part in the fight. And you need to be make your decision quick because there's a Herald coming down eventually to this turret and he'll get like in here for free if you guys mess up here. So it's like essential that you guys win this fight. Alright, so you need to get to people here and heal them. I'd say... Yeah, yeah, get then just leave the heal the Lucian once and then prioritize on whoever's on the front line right now. Decent ulti. Okay, nothing else is going to happen here. They've already this, these two have disengaged. You need to back off and then look at, at top side. You guys aren't going to be able to do much mid. Okay, you guys actually might lose in him. Sheesh. Hey, the real hill. Thank you for prime sub. Welcome to the very best. Thank you. So yeah. So I'm just going to back to that fight with the set running it down. That's a weird sound. So this fight here, I will say like if you were able to be here earlier to heal these guys, like for me it would be like Q, I mean this is super dodgy situation anyway, but Q and then get into your, your team as quickly as possible and heal them up. Like that Lucian probably should have died. Just a little bit more like uwu ambulance urgency and helping your team because... Did you have your ulti up the whole time? You didn't, did you? I don't think you did. No, you didn't. It was on cooldown. That's fine. Yeah, just a little bit more urgency to get to your team because if you were able to heal the Lucian there quicker, there's a chance that you might have been able to like encourage your team to go in more to maybe catch someone else here to not to to punish this but push it a little bit more. Yeah, and just, like, you don't need to like silence, harass the corky and stuff. Like, there's nothing to be gained from doing this. You guys, you just need to back off. Yeah, the enemy team are doing a really good job interrupting your recalls. Yeah, if you were able to get back to base quicker, the Lilia wouldn't have died. I know it's like it's not necessarily like your team like your fault overall because your team's derping around, but this is like the kind of thing that I was saying earlier when you're in lane, like every second when you get to reset is super important. It's like messing around with the enemy team here, trying to harass them for like three seconds, meant that you weren't in base three seconds sooner, which meant that you weren't here to heal this Lilia when she was fighting. Also, did you even heal her? <laughs> you did silence in Q, but you didn't actually heal her. So you let her die. Sag. You let Bambi die. Why are you putting blue buff, by the way? What is going on here? There's a there's a fight 
your team needs you, they grouped up as four. Why are we doing rebuff? Why are you dying to rebuff? Why are you ulting on rebuff? Bo, what's going on here? Your team actually won a fight without you, by the way. I never want to see that again. Okay? You should never be doing that. If you're playing like a Zyra, or maybe a Lux, like maybe you want to spend a little time getting the blue buff, but our teamer actually got the blue buff because of the, the mushroom. Here's where we're starting to see iron gameplay, okay? There's absolutely no... Okay. Yeah, I don't know. You don't need the blue buff on Soraka anyway. Soraka doesn't go oom. She doesn't go out of mana. Her cooldowns are fine. You kind of gave Teemo the blue buff. Like, I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, meanwhile, your team... Is fighting mid. You must have been watching the fight because you ult healed. You ult healed for yourself. You weren't even ulting for your team. Hey Coco, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the Bray Bush. Like you're ulting and your team is relatively full HP anyway. Yeah. You had a, you had a brain fart there. Let's not do that again. Okay. Because now you... you you spent, what, a good minute doing blue buff, nearly dying to blue buff, and now you're having to reset when it's your team's turn to do Baron. Okay. You should be there, ready to, like, help, like, get secure vision around here. Like, this whole vision should have been cleared out. You guys could have started it. You could have healed Lilia doing the Baron. Like, your team didn't get Baron because of you. Let's try and look past that. Okay, your team's set up kind of awkwardly and you're by yourself. Why are we by, us by ourselves? So you do ward the lane. But you need to kind of look where your teammates are. You can't do anything about Senna by herself here. Like, you're not going to be able to 1v1 her. So just take this. I know she's deep and she should be punished. Absolutely, she should be punished for being here. But there's nothing you can do about it. So what's the next thing you can do to help your team? Your team's getting chased down. How can we help? Corky has package. So I don't know if you know what Corky package is. It's when he's got like these nuclear warheads underneath him. He does that massive Valkyrie, the massive charge, and he's a fire char charge on the ground. You do not want to be fighting when he picks up this package. It does a siren when it happens. And you want to be like, you know, generally playing very safe. Because it hurts. So here you, okay, so you're in a position here where you have to help out Lilia. You should be tunnel visioning on helping this Lilia. Not dying. And you should always be positioning to look after yourself. So you would have known that the Zin was coming through this way. If you were paying attention to the map during this, which I know is difficult. But ideally, like the safest location here is to run up the river rather than into the Zin. So you ran the wrong way. You have flash. You could have maybe a flash over the wall, but it would have been kind of difficult. So that's how you died there. Yeah, I'm not surprised you didn't see the Zen until it's too late. I mean, at this level of play, like, everything going on, it's difficult to pay attention to the minimap and the fight at the same time. It's okay. It happens. Okay, so Lucian is kind of like entering into top lane mode where it's like, we can't win the game by a team fight. I must split push her, duh. Yeah, once again, you can't be by yourself, okay? You gotta stop doing this. As a as a squishy enchanter, you, you don't, you should be, the first thing you should be doing when you're coming out of base is, how can I secure vision on the map in the mid game? Okay? You shouldn't be looking to solo split push. You shouldn't be looking to solo do blue buffs. Your, your priority is vision and then being with teammates nearby, especially when you're on the defensive situation because your team is having to play like deeper in your own base than out in the field. Thank you, Lexi. So 
So yeah, that was a uh, that was a city death. Doesn't securing vision mean leaving your teammates? Um, to a certain extent, yes. I'm not saying like rush out into like over here to ward, but your general vicinity, if you're able to and you feel like you're able to, then you should be doing that. That should be priority over farming minions, especially as an enchanter support. So yeah, what, here, when you're at this point here where you just put the ward, you usually would pop oracles just to make sure there's no wards in your site on your jungle. Okay, good heal. You're following up with your team. At this point on Soraka, you're kind of just staying at the back of the team. You don't want to be in front of people, ideally. You're playing like back in the back line, not the front line. Because it's a real, like, in, in lane, you're being aggressive and being in the front line. In, in the mid game onwards, you want to be, like, at the back or in the, like, the back middle. I know Renata's ready, guys. Thank you. Let's see how you do at this dragon fight. So you're sending up a uh, Baron fight. You're sending up Vision. Baron's already gone. You can't run away. You need to be with your team. Even if Jin's popping his ulti, you need to be supporting your team here. He still had the ulti, but that was a bit late. He would have died anyway, though. Chasing here ends up being super risky, but because your team's doing it and you'd be useless by yourself if they died, you got to follow up. Try and stop with the random silences again. Try and save it for a champion in a in the middle of a skirmish or a, or team fight. Right, you guys need to recall and reset. Something really bad happens here, and you all die. What happens? Zin spit pushing. Lily is trying to backdoor. Zin dies. Why do we lose? Why do we lose this fight? Set gets a good engage on. How come you had to go back in base? Because you had no health. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's unlucky that you had to go back to base. It's not your fault. Liz coming to flank. Yeah, don't worry about doing random cues at this point. At this point, like, they outnumber you, just let the inhib go. Just don't die to defend this inhib, it's gone. Nice redemption. It would have healed if she stayed in, but she would have died anyway. Once the game's you're trying to hold, yeah, you're, gonna, you're not going to be able to hold this. So yeah, I mean, hopefully I've identified some things there that you can focus on. Um, I hope that helps. Um, yeah, I, I'm glad I could help though. And um, honestly, like the first ten, the first eight minutes, right? Mechanically, generally wasn't too bad, right? Um, you're heading in the right idea of things to do. You're just not doing them in the right order. So every time you recall, look to see if you can roam to mid or get vision around that mid lane area, like I was talking about. Mid game onwards, make sure there's a ward in the middle of that lane somewhere. Um, and every in the mid game onwards, right? Like if you're playing an enchanter like Nami or Soraka, you do not ideally want to be by yourself. And uh, any time where you feel like you can't do anything, it should be getting vision control on the map, securing that. And even if it means like putting down three wards and then instantly recalling, that's fine. 
because it means you have three fresh wards on the map, you recall, and then you can, um, you know, replenish them so that if they do get taken out, you can just replenish them without having to recall again. Yeah, so no, no more. Can you promise me you're not going to solo any blue buffs anymore? Okay. As Soraka. All right. 